Hello, my name is David Rice, and I want to welcome you back to our series involving the technology track. Today's module is going to be about return on investment. Now, anytime in private practice that you make a major purchase, you're going to want to take a step back and evaluate whether that great piece of technology is going to be a great piece of technology for your practice and your patients. A lot of times in life, we make decisions emotionally, and we justify those decisions later on logically. And when you're making purchases of 5,000, 10,000, 20, 100,000, you want to really make logical decisions and not make emotional decisions. So whenever we're evaluating technology or equipment or even capital improvements to our building, we like to break things down two ways. You're going to want to take a look at the risks and you're going to want to take a look at the benefits to each piece of technology that you're evaluating. On the risk side, we're going to look at three things. We're going to look at finances. How much money does this piece of technology cost you today? And how much money will that piece of technology cost you in the future? Because as you guys know, when you buy a computer or a new cell phone, a new television, it's not a one-time cost. It's a recurring cost. So you need to factor that in. The second risk that we're going to take a look at is the learning curve. What's it going to take for you to understand how to take that piece of technology and use it on a day-to-day -day basis? What's it going to take for your team to understand that technology and use it on a day-to-day -day basis? And then finally, the last risk that we'll consider is integration. How are you going to make it happen? How are you going to use this technology all day, every day? Can you use it all day, every day in your practice? Does it make sense? On the benefit side, we're going to look at three categories as well. The first is the same as on the risk side, financial. Is there a way that this technology is going to help you financially? Maybe it saves you some time. Maybe it saves you some cost later on. But can that piece of technology do that for you? The second thing to evaluate on a benefit side is better treatment. Now, we all went to dental school with the goal of providing the best care we can for our patients. So when you're looking at technology, is it possible that that will bring you and your patients to a better place? And finally, the third piece we'll look at from the benefit side is marketing. Because in life, perception is reality. So is there a way that this technology is going to help showcase you, your practice, and your skill set in the eyes of your patients that allows you inherently to market your business.